Okay, today we're going to talk about uh, percent problems that involves percent change. Okay, percent change problem could be really simple if the original number you're talking about is 100. Here's, here's what I mean. Okay, so you don't have to write this down. Okay, but uh, just take a look at it. Look, let's say that, whoops, let me try to hide it. Let's say I'm buying something that's $100 and now the new price is $70. It's on sale, something like that, right? Can you tell me the sale, what's the, what, how many percent is this per item uh, on sale for? Yes, 30%. 30 percent, it's easy to see that, right? Why, because your original price is, is what? Uh, it even says it, okay, yeah. So 30 percent sale, it, another word for that is called markdown. Why do you think they call it markdown? Because, now, yeah, the price is slow. Price is, yeah, price went down, markdown. Uh, could you have something that's, what do you think mark up is then, mark up? Price goes up? Yeah, price goes up. Like, for example, remember we had that example where dealer gets the car from the car company? They have to mark up, right, in order to make uh, profit. Does that make sense? So that's what mark up is. So for example, if somebody buys something at $10, I mean $100, right, and they want to sell it for $130, what's the mark up percent? 30%. Right, it's easy. Why is it so easy to figure this out? Because your original price is 100. Now, are you going to have everything in terms of $100? No. So this is easy when things are in $100, right? But what if we don't get, what if the original price isn't 100? Well, I'm going to show you how to deal with those things. Does that make sense? When it's 100, it's easy to see what's, uh, how do you figure out the markdown and markup, right? Sale price and so forth, right? Um, so that's the per that's the kind of percent change right here. If you go from hundred dollars to seventy dollars, what's the percent change? Thirty percent, right? Thirty percent went down, correct? We took, and then uh, it was marked up thirty percent. What if it goes from hundred dollars to hundred thirty dollars? It was marked up thirty percent of the original price. Isn't that right? So these are easy. <laughs> I'm going to show you now. Uh, well, what do we do if the original price is hundred? You have to come. We have to use this formula. This formula you just have to memorize. It's easy to memorize too. Let's, let me show you the formula that you need for tonight and whenever we talk about percent change, okay? Here's the uh, formula for percent change. Here we go. You all have to memorize this. Percent change formula is simply the percent of change over 100 equals to change in price over, put a star on this, over the original price. It's always you're comparing something, you're always comparing the change in price to the original price. So that's the formula. You're going to use this formula to do all your most of your homework for tonight. Percent change formula is percent of change over 100 equals to uh, change in price over original price. Okay. So that's the formula you need. Okay. So write this down. I'll wait for you. Okay. So this is a formula. I want you to understand. Okay. How easy this is. Look at for the hundred dollar. Right. If it, if it goes from 100 to 130 dollars, let's see if it works. If let's see this formula works. Right. What is the change in price? It went from 100 to 130 dollars. Thank you. What's the change in price? 30 dollars, right? Isn't that the difference? So, what do, where do we write 30 dollars at in this formula? Top right. The top right. Very good. That's the change in price. Over. What's the original price? 100. You see how it was? See now. Look, percent change. We said it was 30 percent. You see why it's 30 percent? You get 30 over 10. Oh, I mean, 30 over 100. That's isn't that 30 percent? Because remember, percent means one over hundred. You see how it works out? Does the other one work too? As you go from hundred to seventy dollars, what's the change in price this time? It's not the new price minus original, is it? This time you gotta do original minus new, correct? Because it went down. A bigger number minus small number. Isn't that how you find the difference between two numbers? So what's hundred minus seventy? Thirty. So change in price is thirty again. What's our original price? Again, it's hundred. It's easy. So what's, what's the percent in change? Yeah, if this is 30 over 100, something over 100, what has to be on top here? Also 30, correct? If the left side is equal to the right side. Or you could just multiply both sides by 100, same thing. You see why when it's easy? Um, it's why it's easy because the original price is 100. But if it's not 100, now we know how to deal with it. We just use this formula to plug in, okay? So percent of change over 100 is equal to change in price over the original price. That will give you the percent change when you solve for that top. Okay, let's look at an example. Now, for the first example, uh, it's straightforward. Let me show you. Let's move it down. So here's the question. It says 
the real estate tax went from 1560 to 1638 what was the percent increase <coughs> and it makes sense why it's percent increase could this be percent decrease why not <coughs> clear why is this percent increase why not decrease yeah, the number went up. It was 1560, right, to 1638. What if the number went down? What would that be called? Percent decrease. decrease. Okay, straightforward. All right, so think, write this down and think about what our unknown is. I'll wait for you. Okay, go ahead, everybody, think about this. So, what's our unknown in this case? How about uh, Jenny? What's our unknown? What's our unknown in this case? The real estate tax went from 156 to 1638. What was the percent increase? Our unknown is? Yeah, how many percent did it increase, right? That's called percent increase, is that okay? So I'm going to let x to be, the, by the way, in order to use this, right, we gotta use our variable. I'm gonna let x to be the percent change, is that okay? In this case, it's percent increase, not decrease. So you could say x equals to percent increase if you want. So are we going to use our formula now? Hello? Yes, yes. what's our formula? Percent of change. Yeah, percent of change. Equals change yeah. Price. Yeah, so I should have written this as percent of change here. <coughs> percent change. Can I just write CP for? Uh, change in price and OP for original price? Do you mind if I do that? No? no. no? Thank you. So, you don't mind, do you? Okay. So, percent change. So, in this case, somebody tell me what to plug in. For percent change, what do we write on the top left? How about... Some, what do you think? Yeah, for percent change, what do we write? X. That's our unknown. We don't know that, right? X. Over 100, right? That's fine. So left side is fine. What about on the right side? Samuel? Park? Uh, what, what are you going to write for change in price? Oh, how'd you get that? Yeah, so you subtract. Do you do 1560 minus 1638 or do you do 1638 minus 1560? Yeah, the bigger number minus small number. What about the original price? That's the important part. I'm going to even highlight that one. Because this is the part you gotta be careful. So always over change in price over the original price, not the new, not the new price, original price. Uh, Carly, what are you gonna write for your original price? Fifteen sixty, and there's your equation. Is that okay? And and I just wrote this change in price as sixteen thirty eight minus fifteen sixty. By the way, whenever you do this, you should put parentheses, right? Anyway, so when you subtract, I, I did the work on the right. It comes out to seventy eight, just like Samuel told us. Is that okay? All right, do you know how to solve for x then? Yeah. What do you do, class, to find solve? Because that was our percent change. Yeah, you? Yeah, multiply both sides by? Yeah, you want to you, you want to simplify first if you can, yeah, and then multiply both sides by 100. Okay, go ahead, everybody try. Yeah, yeah, hold on a second. Let me write, this is our formula. Okay, that's what we're using, right? Okay. Everybody go ahead and try. Did you do all this? Did you all do this? Multiply both sides by 100? Yes. Yeah, because you get x by itself then when you do that. So you get x on the left side. By the way, does anything going to uh, uh, 100 and 156? They're both even, so what has to go in? You could, okay, you could do 10 first, and then. Yeah, I did 10 first, right? Yeah, so 10 goes into 100 10 times. 10 goes into 1560 10 times. What about 10 and 156? What goes into both? They're both even. Two. 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 How many times does 2 go into 10? Five. Five times. What about 156? Six. 78, doesn't it? Isn't that nice? Okay, could you have multiplied it and then simplified afterwards? Yeah, but isn't this easier? So what's the answer? What does x come out to? 5. So what does that 5 represent? That's the percent change, right, from the original price. So what are you going to write as your answer? How about um, Angel? What should you write as your answer? Yeah, the percent increase. This time we know it's increased because the price went up. 
right? So the percent increase is how many percent? Five percent. Does that make sense? This is five percent of the original price or the new price, guys? The original price, right? So if you were to take five percent of the original price and add it to that original price, you should get what was it? One thousand six hundred thirty-eight. That's what we got. Correct. By the way, I even know what five percent of fifteen sixty is. What's the five percent of fifteen sixty? Seventy-eight. That's what we got right here, right? We noticed the difference in these two, right? Price. <coughs> so if you were to add seventy-eight to the original <coughs> price, it should be that sixteen. What was it? Sixteen. Uh, what was it? Sixteen. Let's go back up again. Sixteen. Ah, oh yeah, sixteen thirty-eight. Okay. Does that make sense? So this is five percent increase of the original. We're always right basing all this calculation of the original price. Is that right? Does that make sense? Do we all? Do you think they're gonna always ask for percent change in this problem? No. Sometimes they actually give you the percent change. They could ask for the new price or the original price depending on the question. Does that make sense? So that's our next example. Have any question? Have there any question on this? Are you okay with that? By the way, to figure out the change in price, right? You always do bigger number minus the smaller number, right? Does that make sense? You just look at their difference. Just like here. In this case, this was a new price minus the original. But is it always going to be new price minus the original price? No, not necessarily. If the price goes down, then what are you going to do? Original minus the new price. Because you want to do bigger number minus smaller number. Does that make sense? OK. All right, so we'll do something like that in a minute. Here's example two. It says the number of registered voters increased by 14% over last year. There are now 9,633 registered voters. How many were there last year? Again, this increase. Uh, maybe I should give you one with decrease in a minute, but anyway, this is increase. The number of registered voters increased by 14% over last year. There are now 9,633 registered voters. How many voters were last or there last year? Uh, what's our unknown in this case? Oh, people still writing. I'll wait for you. Okay, go ahead. As you write this down, think about your unknown. Okay. So, who can tell me what the unknown is? How about uh, Patty? What's the unknown for problem? Um, Example two. Right, the number of last year's voters, right? Now, is that the original number of voters <coughs> in this case, or is this new? If it's last year's, it'll be the original, right? I mean, it's not really original, original, but you know, for, if you're comparing last year to this year, right, that's the original. So I'm going to, just going to write down the number of original voters. I just call it Y. Okay. Could I call it something else if I wanted to? Yeah, I could. Have, I just chose Y this time. All right. So, um, so thank you. If I want to do this, then I need the formula, right? Somebody tell me the formula again, because you have to memorize. It. It's not that hard to memorize. Matthew, what's our formula to whenever we have? Because right now we have percent increase and decrease, correct? How many, what, what does this 14% represent class? Percent increase or decrease? Increase. increase. It says the registered voters increase by 14%. You see that's percent increase? So Matthew, what's the uh, formula we need here? Good. And this time it's not price. You <laughs> know, it could be number of people. So I'm going to use C for change in number of people over the original number of people. Is that okay? Now, I'm, I'm not going to write CP. I'm just going to write C over O. Is that okay? C represents the change in the number, and O represents the original number. Is that okay? So maybe I should just do number like this. Because it's not always number. I mean, always like price for something. <coughs> so somebody tell me what to plug in. Uh, how about Brianna? What do we plug in here? On the left side, what should I plug in? 14 over? 100, because that's 14%. You see why it's the chain, percent change over 100? That's the 14%. So you get 14 over 100, right? Which represents 40%, which is equal to what? Uh, on the right side. Brandon, what do we write on the right side? Oh. Top. It says change, num change in number. What's the change in number in this case? How would you figure this out? Well, Brenda, let me ask you this first. What's the original number that we need? X, very good. So if you know that that's the X, well, and they told you the last year's number of people that voted, registered voter, voters were X, this year is 96,000, 
I mean, 9,633 people. How would you figure out the difference in these two? Exactly. Does that make sense? You just subtract, right? 9,633 minus y. I called it y, right? You could have called it x if it doesn't matter. And then over y, right? The original number of people that you have. Is that okay? Is this easy? It's always the same formula. Okay, percent change, right? It's some number over 100, right? Because it's a percent change. The change, percent change over 100 is equal to uh, 9,633. In this case, that's the number of people. Why isn't it the other way around? Why isn't it y minus 9,633? Jason? Yeah, y is going to be smaller than this, right? Because we know that that's number increase, right? Do you know how to solve for y now? Yes? It's a fractional equation, isn't it? You got denominator, you got 100 and y. What is your LCD, class? What's your LCD? 100 y, correct? Multiply both sides by 100 y. OK, go ahead. Everybody try. I'll wait. Okay. Tell me what y is. Good. Some of you uh, simplify 14 over 100 before you do this. That's, that's actually better, right? You get 7 over 50, but I, I forgot to do that. It still works, doesn't it? Anyway, when you do multiply both sides by 100, OK, on the left side, it's nice. What happens to the left side? This turns to Tajwar. What do we get on the left side when you multiply both sides by the LCD? Um, All the denominators go away. What do, you, what do you end up getting on the left side only? 14y. Um, 14y, exactly. It just simply becomes 14y. What about the right side? You don't have to multiply the whole thing out. Dana, what does the right side become when you cancel things out? Yeah, so I didn't actually multiply it out. But don't, don't you basically get 100 times that binomial because the y's cancel out? And you're right, when you distribute this 100, you get 963300 minus 100y. Which one should I get rid of, 14y or 100y? Which one's smaller, 14y or negative 100y? Because this is really negative 100y, isn't it? Yeah, I'm add both sides by 100y, correct? So you get this. And all you have to do is divide both sides by 144. Okay, so that, okay, that, it's, I mean, 100, 114. Did I say 144? I'm, I'm wrong. I meant 140, 114. When I do, okay, you could do this on the side, or if you have a calculator, it's much easier, okay? Uh, well, how many times does it go in? It turns out I did it on the side here. It goes in 8,450. Is that okay? Okay, so. What's the answer? Hold on. What's the answer for this? Uh, who could tell me the answer? So, Lynette, what's our answer here? Oh, uh, last year there were 8,450. Correct. Last year there were 8,450 registered voters, right? That's what we got. That's what X, re that's, that's what Y represented, right? Does that make sense? And it makes sense. It came out less than 9,633, right? Because there were less people. This, is, this represents 14% increase. Isn't that right? Right, 9,633 is 14% increase of 8,450, right? Okay. Does this make sense? Yep. Okay, good. This time, let me give you a very simple question. It says, Jen originally paid 7,400 for a car three years ago. The same car now costs 6,500 today. <coughs> what, is the per what is the change in price? By the way, am I asking for percent change at all? Nope. No, all I'm asking is simply what? change in price, correct? Yeah. So how do you figure this out? This is very simple, <laughs> okay? Uh, if, there, if I ever give it to you like this kind of question, this will be the easiest problem you ever do. Because all I'm asking is change in price. Michael, what are you gonna do? You're gonna do 7,400 minus 6,500. Yeah, that's all. 7,400 minus 6,500, 6, right? So what's the answer? 900 decrease, okay. So when you do decrease, it's going to be what? the original minus the new price, correct? It's not always, right, new price minus original. Right? If there's a decrease, right, this original is more, original, right, amount would have more. So it'd be original minus. So it depends on what you have. If it's decrease, you do original minus new. If it's increase, what do you do? New minus the original. Basically, just bigger number minus small number. So I'm just showing, okay. And if I wanted to ask you, if I ask you the percent decrease, what would you do for this? If you had to figure out the percent decrease, we know it's 900, so what's the formula going to be? Can somebody give me the formula? We know that it's going to be percent change 
There's a formula, right? Over 100 equals to what? Change in price, C over original price. So what would you write? X over 100 equals to what? 900 over, what's the original price? 7400. And you know how to solve for X, right? If I, ever, if I ask you for it. But did I ask for that? No. All I asked for was what? Change in price. If I just ask that, that's really the easiest problem I could ask. Do you understand how to solve things like this? Does this make sense? Yeah. Okay. Can you do something like this for your homework tonight? Yeah. Good.